Good morning! This is day number 10, um, and I didn't post anything yesterday because I just didn't really have anything to talk about. But today, um, I kind of wanted to talk about minimalism because I, there's a high, high likelihood that I'm going to be moving to Massachusetts over the summer um, to work as a culinary camp counselor at one summer camp and then a photographer and videographer at another summer camp. Um, so first of all, I just want to say like manifestation and stuff, like it all sounds so silly, but I really have just been narrowing in on myself and focusing on myself in the last, I guess just the last week. And all of these things are already happening. Like I'm setting my intentions out there and things are just flooding in. And that's something like about a year or two ago that I was very, very in tune with. And it was like, I would look up and then it's a new opportunity, new opportunity, new opportunity. And that is the stuff that's happening right now. And they're just like strange coincidences. Like I honestly don't believe in coincidences. I believe that everything happens for a reason. And you know, like the other day I was talking, or yesterday I was talking to my sister about um, vegan. And she's like, oh yeah, my nephew doesn't want to eat meat anymore. I was like, wow, that's so funny. So I go to this website and I'm looking through it and they're talking about this youth empowerment camp that basically teaches teens how to, you know, form groups, um, you know, get involved in activism, use social media for social change, et cetera, et cetera. I was like, wow, that's awesome. I would love to be involved in something like that because I love the idea of teaching our young kids, the next generation, you know, um, besides the, us, but the next, next generation of bosses and, you know, people who could quite literally change the world. So I looked and I was like, oh, you know, they're probably not doing any camps soon. And there just so happens to be a camp the same exact time that I might be in Massachusetts for this other camp. I don't think that's a coincidence. I think that's a crazy turn of events where, you know, the path of my life is on in the right, uh, right direction. Um, so anyway, I got a little sidetracked. But um, minimalism, I wanted to talk about because I'm also selling off all my stuff. Um, because I'm most likely moving out of my apartment in May. Um, to move in with my grandmother, who her memory's kind of going. Um, but honestly, I, mostly it's for me to save money. And because if I make the move, obviously I'm going to need to save some cash to drive across the country. Because I won't be able to fly because I have my pets. Unless somebody wants to foster them. Which is my cat's tail, if you can't tell. Um, so yeah. Um... There's something so liberating about just, like, getting rid of stuff. Like, I went through my closet. Like, the things that you see hanging there are, like, some of the only pieces of clothing I have left. Um, if you know me, I have been a shopaholic my entire life. Maybe it's part of me being a Leo, but I think it was part of me being unhappy. And I felt like clothes and new things and stuff could... Um... Max, stop. Get away. You're shaking my table. Um, but I also think it was a part of me using it as a crutch, just like I used alcohol or whatever else, relationships, um, to make me feel good about myself. So, uh, it was super scary at first, like, you know, I have a storage unit where I don't touch any of that stuff. And I'm like, why do I have a storage unit if I'm not touching anything? Um, it's ridiculous. And the majority of people in America have storage units of full of shit that they never touch. So I was like, you know what, no, I'm going to start, go through, go through the storage, start throwing away stuff, um, selling whatever I can, if I can't sell it or it would take too much effort to sell, because some things to me like plates and bowls and all that stuff just seems silly to try and sell, like what, am I going to get 50 cents for it? I would rather donate it to the Goodwill and get it to people who actually could use it, um, and then I don't have to go through the process of yard sales, because I hate that stuff, um, you know, like. A ton of books that I think would be helpful to people I'm gonna start giving out so check out me on Facebook if you haven't already facebook.com slash babbling Bean Marie I have a ton of really amazing books about permaculture gardening um, you know just sustainable living also a lot of self-help books that I've already read multiple times so there might be a lot of notes in there but there's just some stuff that I won't be able to take with me if I drive across the country um, so yeah, I think like if you are feeling like your life is overwhelming, one thing I would say to do is start getting rid of stuff. Go into your closet. If I if you haven't worn it in six months, don't be like, yeah, I could totally, you know, like I think I might wear this later. Just get rid of it. Toss it in the donation pile and eliminate the stuff in your life. You will feel, yeah, just free. 
Like, it was just this freedom with getting rid of stuff. And, you know, I've just started. Like, I have a lot of stuff. And it's like, you know, a bunch of stuff in my kitchen I never touch. Like, I am a cook, so it's a little different. Like, well, I have these ingredients because I'll probably use them at some point. But even that is like, I haven't used it. Maybe I can go give it away to someone in my family who bakes a lot because I have a lot of baking stuff and I never bake. So, yeah, I mean, that's just something that's on my mind. You know, I'm starting to sell off a lot of stuff um, that's worthwhile. You can check out me on OfferUp if you want to buy something. Um, and, yeah, it just feels really good. And, obviously, like, I have completely changed from a pe total pessimist to an optimist lately. And I just highly believe that I'm going to get this camp counselor job. So, if I do... I'm leaving LA. I may come back after the two months. I may stay longer. It just totally depends if I can get a place and get a um, job out there. Okay, bye.